Do -do -do. Oh no, this lighting. I think we're good. We're good. We're good. Hang on, let me cover. No, didn't fix it. All right, whatever. Um, anyways, we're gonna get through this game recap really quickly. I know nobody is here yet, um, but hopefully some of y'all will show up soon. And if you do, make sure you start asking those questions. Um, very stressful game today. Way more stressful than it needed to be. We should have been done with this game a good 15, 20 minutes ago. Hey guys, um, it's, it's insane. Um, what just happened? We won. So <laughs> we're at 68 and 37 on the team, but I am totally still stressed out from that win or yeah, that win. Um, so anyways, let's jump into this. As most of you guys know, uh, Barnes, I'm sure most of you know by now, Austin Barnes was optioned to AAA and uh, Will Smith was called back up. He is going to be the primary catcher and catch about three of every five games. Um, I know a lot of people are excited about that. I'm excited about that. I liked Barnes. I wanted to stick behind him, but he's just not getting it done. Um, and we just, we got to keep things going, keep them rolling. If someone's not going to do what they need to, then the next guy up. And right now that's Smith. Um, and as some of you are doing, ask those questions. I'll get to answering them as soon as we're done with this. I'm going to try to go through this as quick as possible so we can get to the Q&A. Um, the Dodgers traded, they made a trade with the Astros. They DFA'd Tyler. The Astros DFA'd Tyler White. He's a first baseman. Um, and he and they traded a minor league pitcher, Andre Scrub. I don't know anything about him. I've never even heard of Tyler White either. So, uh, <laughs> but he's there. They added him to the 25-man roster. Freeze is now on the IL with a left hamstring strain hamstring strain um but white they're going to use primarily at first base and off the bench personally i don't see this guy being anywhere near our playoff roster unless he just comes out and tears it up i just see it kind of being a thing right now uh we still don't know what's going on with kike's injury that he had the other night when he swung the bat um they still apparently haven't got jansen didn't pitch back to back nights there was no game yesterday <laughs> Jansen isn't pitching back-to-back -back nights, guys. At least not tonight he didn't. Um, anyway, sorry. Uh, Kike still have that, that hand thing. Apparently, Robert said they haven't heard back from their MRI yet. I don't know why they waited until today to take an MRI. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I don't know how all that works. But it's really a bummer losing Kike when we did. Because in the month of July, Kike's slash, slash line was 352, 417, 574. And he had a 991 OPS with three home runs. So he was killing it. He was busting out of his slump, looking real good. Then he goes and gets hurt. Hopefully it's nothing permanent. Or not permanent. Wrong choice of words. <laughs> I'm such a mess from that game. Oh, my God. Um, hopefully it's nothing long term. He doesn't have to go on the IL, anything like that. When a player is hot like this, you don't want to have to put them on the IL. Um, and we just we don't want to lose him. Um, good defensively. And he's been killing it for us lately. Um, so there's a couple rumors that the Dodgers are interested in Noah Syndergaard, Edwin Diaz, and Orioles' Michael Givens. I know nothing about Michael Givens. I didn't even know they were interested in him. Noah Syndergaard, we all know him. Thor, uh, what they're asking for is the Mets are asking for a starter and a couple top prospects. So it could be done. Um, they're also wanting to look at Edwin Diaz. So they could be doing a package deal um, with the Mets. Could be kind of interesting to see what they get they might be able to get Edwin Diaz and Cindergard, put them together and make it a little bit not cheaper because obviously you're getting two guys but instead of going Cindergard and then going to another team um so that'll be interesting I'm in the boat that I don't think they need a starter but I guess you can never have too much pitching I just really 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 want them to get relief and tonight was a big big reason of why we need an elite closer um not just what we've been doing in the past. We really got to go um, till they get their at bat batter. Kike did have the, is it, Kike's killing it. Oh, I'm guessing you weren't here two minutes ago because Kike is killing it. Um, so we'll see with that. Stripling is still dealing with his neck issues. As of now, Robert said um, that he still expects him to make his start on Tuesday. So um, I'm hoping that wasn't for me. Um, I need to stop reading these comments. You guys are distracting me. Ryu, pitch tonight, pretty solid outing, very good outing for him. Gave up more hits than we're used to, got himself in trouble, found a way to get out. Uh, second inning, a little bit of trouble. Verdugo, some 
awesome, awesome, awesome plays um, to save a, at least one run, maybe more. Uh, you have the throw home, which I'm sure you guys saw, um, or if you didn't watch the game. Incredible throw home. Got the second runner. Para was coming home. I'm so glad it was Para. I cannot stand that guy. Um, threw him out at home. Did really well. Uh, got him there. Made a beautiful diving catch in left field. So great game for Verdugo. Uh, big reason why Ryu did not give up any runs tonight. Um, but Jansen almost blew all of it. <laughs> uh, he was the only one, right? No, he, well, no, there was that RBI single. Actually, that's right. Ryu did give up an RBI single. Um, and then Verdugo got the second runner coming home. So Kelly came in, there were two on, two outs, got a pop up quickly, got him out of there. Um, Got out of that inning, got out of the jam. Baez came in. Baez looks good. Gives up one single, gets out of the inning. And then we get to Jansen. Um, that was a disaster. Two quick outs, gets two outs on seven pitches, and then just completely falls apart. Uh, single, hit by pitch, walk, walk. Was nowhere near hitting the zone. It was terrible. There's really no other way to put it. He had no command whatsoever. I don't know if I've ever seen him have that bad of command before um but that was that was really bad even martin kind of turned around and looked at him and was like dude what what's going on i kind of wish the dodgers would stop leaving him in longer and figure it out however with joe kelly and Baez already pitching i understand i don't really know who else you're going to go to from the bullpen in that uh situation so I, I guess right there you kind of have to go with Jansen. I'm not really trusting anyone else coming out of there. I do like Casey Sadler, but that is a lot of pressure to put on him. Um, get to the offense tonight. They did what they needed to do. They should have done a lot more. First inning, they came out, had the bases loaded, one out. Had already had one run on the game. We expected um, kind of a blowout. I think a few of us expected at least two, three more runs the way they were going. They got two quick singles by Jock and uh, Verdugo. And then Turner struck out, but then Bellinger comes through, RBI single, uh, and then that was it. They really did nothing else after that. Um, ground out by Pollock, Seeger, and then it that was really it until Turner came up huge. There were two outs. Jock worked a walk. Verdugo singled, so he went two for four on the day. And Turner comes out and hits a three-run home run, his 15th home run of the season, and his 100th career home run as a Dodger. Um, so they all, they didn't do that great today, but they did what they had to do to win. That's all we can ask for. Um, Pollock struggled today, didn't look too good out there. However, coming into this game, uh, since returning from the IL, his slash line is 350, 400, 675, and a 1,000 uh, 1,075 OPS with four home runs. So he's been killing it. I don't want to get, I was a little upset, uh, what he did earlier in the game, that first inning when he got out, but he's been killing it for us. So can't be too upset with that, but that looks like that's it. So let's get to the questions. Um, I'm going to have to be a little bit quicker on the Q and a night than usual. So I apologize, but let's get into it. If you guys keep asking your questions, I'm pulling up the thing right now so I can actually read them <sighs> also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already all right all right all right all right all right who do you think the Dodgers should trade for um I really want to see them go after Felipe Vasquez he's elite he's got controllable years coming up um pretty good contract I believe however I know he's going to the Pirates are going to ask for a lot for him. Um, so I don't know if that'll happen because, like I said, they want a starter. It seems like they want a starter as well. Maybe that's, I mean, that's the idea with uh, with <clears throat> Cindergaard. So I don't, that's who I would like. I would like Vasquez. I want someone elite. I do like Edwin Diaz. I did want him in the offseason. He struggled with the Mets. Um, but what he did last year, I don't think is just something he did once. I think there's whatever's going on. The Dodgers have been great at, uh, at, um, turning around pitchers who've been struggling. So I would like to, I just want relief. I don't even care if we don't get a starter. I want relief. That's all that I care about. Um, I know a lot of people want starting. I'd be totally fine trading for a starter, but relief pitching that bullpen is at the absolute top of my list because that one, um, I, I just would feel better with. You can push Stripling, push Maeda uh, into the bullpen and then give us, 
be good to go. If we can get if we can get one elite reliever, I think we would be set. The way Kelly's pitching, the way Baez is pitching, um, not the way Jansen is pitching, but the way the rest of them are pitching, I think we would be good to go. Do you think that one of our catchers will get traded? I think we are never going to see Kyber Ruiz playing a Dodgers jersey. Um, <clears throat> I don't think they're going to trade Smith. There seems no point in that. We've already seen what he can do at the major league level. He can hit. He can handle the pitching. They've already brought him up. It would make no sense to trade him now. Um, part of me kind of wonders what they're going to do with Barnes. If Smith is killing it right now, um, they don't really have. They have four, five days left five days to make a decision who they're going to keep. Um, and I just don't know how you justify bringing Barnes back up unless Smith completely falls off. Uh, yeah, I just, I think we might be seeing Ruiz go. Maybe, maybe Barnes goes as a package just to kind of like get rid of him type thing. Um, but I don't know. We will have to see, but I, my bet would be on Kyber Ruiz first. Cause he's a top prospect. He's top four. Uh, top of the four that a lot of teams have been talking about. They want May, Lux, uh, May, Lux, I think Smith, and then Ruiz. And so I'm fine with only trading one of those, and that would be Kyber. So just because, I mean, I think Smith can do his job, and Gavin Lux is a freaking monster. Dude's killing it. Um, any chance of Kenley being removed from closer? He should be. Um, I would rather see Joe Kelly or Baez out there right now. Um, I just, I don't think Jansen can handle getting into jams. As soon as he does, he just completely kind of falls off. It's like he cannot handle that pressure right now. Um, so I would like to think they will. I don't know if they will. Hopefully come playoffs, if this is still happening, they're not trying to be like, hey, Jansen, you're our closer, go do that. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. This team probably should have taken Jansen out of closer a couple times. Maybe I'm being a little dramatic, but um, I'm, I'm thinking if he keeps this up, you have to remove him from closer because you have to give guys like Kelly and Baez an opportunity to see if they're going to be able to hold up in the playoffs because personally, I don't think Jansen will. Jansen scares the hell out of me every time he comes in. Should we get Cindergaard? I mean, I don't know. I kind of spoke about that a few minutes ago. I don't know. I am back and forth on it. Um, I, I, he's very good, and I think he could do well for us. I just don't want to use up a bunch of trade pieces on him because I know the Mets are asking for quite a bit. Um, and then that kind of – I'm afraid that if we get Cindergard, our relief pitcher is going to be the next step down. I would rather have no Cindergard and just get an elite relief pitcher and go from there. So it, it just depends what they do. It's hard to say because it's all – It's it'll be – I don't know. It's hard to say, but should we trade Jansen? No, you're not going to trade Jansen. Um, it's just not going to happen. I doubt any team's going to want to pick up that contract. And, uh, yes, what God Slayer said about Edwin Diaz. Go read what they said. Um, no, I just, I don't think they can trade Jansen, and I don't know if that's the right move. He has moments where he can be dominant. I just don't know if he's that dominant closer that you want in a close game, that you can trust at all times. Could he be a dominant eighth inning pitcher? Maybe. Um, but, I, no, I, I don't see them trading Jansen. Uh, Jansen's contract is up at the end of the season. However, he does have a player option, so he gets, he gets to decide whether or not he wants to stay with the team one more year. Um... Or if he, uh, <clears throat> or if he wants to dip out and be a free agent. So, I, unfortunately, the way he's pitching, part of me thinks he's gonna stay because um, he's not gonna get that type of money from anyone else. I think with the way things have been going for him. Uh, what's up with all these errors, especially from Turner? You think he's kind of showing his age? Yes, unfortunately, um, I do. I do. Uh, I do think it's a lot of age and it was kind of my thing going into next year. Turner still has one year left on his contract. I, my guess is he goes to first base um, just because he's not the same guy at third base anymore. He's still very good defensively, but he's not what we're used to. Um, so I don't know, but these, the infield defense seems like a mess. The outfield is killing it. They seem to be getting everything done. Verdugo, Bellinger, um, they're making the plays out there, but the infield defense needs to get it together very quick. I think I read that they had 19 errors in their last 12 games, and that's disgusting. So that's got to stop. 
um, will you be in Miami for the Marlins series? Nope, I'm not going to Miami this year. I'll get there eventually, but NL, NL teams are usually at the bottom of my list because we go there every year. I If I'm going to spend the money to go to the East Coast right now, it's going to be um, to see an AL team that they don't play very much, like Baltimore. I'm thinking about going to Baltimore. So um, no Miami for me this year. Did Smith get called back up? Yes, he did. Barnes went down to triple A. Is Joe Kelly doing the whole old hit the bull trick from both um, with all these wild pitches? No, I don't think I, Joe Kelly only pitched like one out today and I didn't see really anything that was all these wild pitches. Okay, where did it go? I don't know why it, okay, there it is. Yes, I agree it sucks that MLB is in love with home runs and that's gonna end up screwing Verdugo in the potential rookie of the Ray, rookie of the year race because he doesn't hit a lot of home runs but he does everything else, I think, uh, almost better than any other rookie out there, especially his defense. Uh, he, what he does out there is pretty incredible. What do you think of his intentional box? I'm all for it. I like it. He doesn't want the runner on second stealing signs, uh, so it's completely understandable. So I'm all for it. If it's anything that's going to help us, if it's not, it's it's not like it's help. It would have helped the Mets if that runner comes around and scores, which they did. It's a four-two game, anyways. Obviously, if it's the tying run or something like that, then no, I would not be okay with it. But we haven't seen him do that in this situation. So for right now, um, I'm. I'm feeling pretty good. I, I like it. I actually think it's pretty cool. I like it. <clears throat> Do you want starter or reliever? I answered that earlier. Do you think we should trade Jansen? I answered that. Do you think we should trade a top prospect? I mean, you're going to have to. They're going to have to trade a top prospect if they want an elite pitcher. You can't. There's really no way around that as to who they'll trade. I believe that Smith Dustin May and Gavin Lux are all untouchable. Anyone else, they could go. But those three, I do not think the Dodgers will send anywhere for anybody, um, which is what I'm okay with. Stripling, his neck is still stiff. They still expect him to pitch on Tuesday, but anything can change from uh, the update on him that you asked for. Anything can change. So um, we'll just have to wait and see as we go. What about Jake? Deekman, I don't know enough about him um, that I can really give you a real answer. I've seen his name brought up. I looked up his stats. He doesn't seem to be very good. But like I said, the Dodgers are good at helping pitchers change things, get better, go back to what they were doing at one time and point. So I don't – it's not what I want. I feel like it's kind of the cheaper end of things versus just putting the prospects out there to get someone like Vasquez or uh, – I mean, Will Smith, I think, from the Giants is off the table the way they're playing. But, um, yeah, I, yeah, they're going to have to give up top prospects. There's no way around it. What about Urias, starter or reliever? Um, I don't know. I thought he'd be a starter, but they might need him in the in the pen, uh, just the way the bullpen is when you have a shutdown lefty who can come in, pitch two, three innings, um, and has stuff like he does. It's might be better off to just leave him in the bullpen because we need more bullpen help than anything. Do you think we should trade Yemi Garcia? Yes, we cannot option him back to AAA. He has no option, so they would have to DFA him. So they might as well trade him. I do not think he deserves to be on the postseason roster, so in my opinion, there's no point at keeping him anymore. Package him off with some prospects um, and give us back that roster spot because we can always use those ro roster spots. How would you react if the Dodgers didn't trade for a reliever by the 31st? I mean, I'd be pissed, but it's not going to happen. They're going to trade for at least one. Could be two, um, but it'll happen. There's no way it won't. They address the bullpen every year. So um, Ryu is losing his dominant pace these days. Ryu gave up one run over seven innings. There's no way he's losing it. He's killing it right now. The only reason his stats don't look good over these last few games is because of his performance in Colorado. Other than that, he's been extremely dominant. Why do I feel confident we might get Edwin Diaz? I don't know. That's We might, especially if they're looking at center guard. It would make a lot of sense. Whoa. I hate when it does that. Thoughts on Tyler White? Um, 
I don't know enough about him. I can't really give you my thoughts. Apparently, he can hit left-handed and right-handed pitching, which is huge. Um, seems like a power guy with his OPS being so high and his batting average being so low. Um, so it could be with with Freeze going on the IL, we need that right-handed bat. So uh, he's right-handed, right? I think he's right-handed. I honestly haven't looked at anything besides like the posts the Dodgers have put up because I don't know anything about him. Um, but I trust the Dodgers. They pick guys up like this for a reason. You see him, Max Muncy, Chris Taylor. I don't think that guy's going to be one of these, but you never know. Um, do you like Peterson at first? No, I don't. Um, he's getting a little bit better, but honestly, I think he will be traded. I'm not going to be able to trade Russell Martin. Um, I, that's not happening. Um, I do I don't really like him at first base only because you just, the way the off, the way the defense is playing right now, we don't need more errors. And Jock obviously is still learning the position. Can't be mad at him. Personally, I think he's playing first base because they want to trade him and they want to try and show he has more value than just being a left fielder. Whether or not it actually happens, we'll have to wait and see. But I think that we could, Jock may not be in a Dodger uniform uh, much longer. I have no idea if the balls are juiced. They're different. I don't know if they're juiced. I don't know what it is, but they're definitely not the same. I mean, I think the Deekman talks are serious. I don't have any inside sources, anything like that. So I hear from the same news sources you guys do. I would assume it is, but the Dodgers check in on everybody. So I wouldn't take it too seriously unless we keep hearing about it. Yeah, the offense hasn't been the greatest um, since the All-Star break. However, they also aren't a very good hitting team on the road. So that to me doesn't, um, <clears throat> that to me doesn't really, I mean, at home against the Angels, that was very, very bad. But I'm not too stressed out about the offense. They're very good. Teams go through slumps. Hitters go through slumps. We lost Chris Taylor, who was on fire. We've now lost Kike, who was on fire. So I just... I think it's, we got Pollock coming back, Seager coming back. They're trying to catch their kind of lightning and bottle right now. So I'm not too stressed about that. Um, I think they'll be good to go. Any new World Series predictions? No, I'm starting to lean a little bit more towards the Yankees, but I don't know why. It's going to be the Yankees or Astros versus us. That's all I have at this point. Um, Who do you want to play? I don't want to... Well, I think the Yankees would be a really good team. Um, I think the Astros very good team as well. If we're going to play the Astros, I only want it because the revenge. I would It would ruin me if we lost to them again. Um, but, I, yeah, I I don't know. I hope. I just hope we win it. That's all. I can't handle losing it to anybody this year, third year in a row. Just not going to happen. Do you think the 2019 team is better than the 2017? I think the 2019 team is better already, even with the crappy bullpen they have. Now, if they have the 2017 um, bullpen, 100% winning the World Series. But this team is better than the 2017 team as is. Do you think what Matt, yeah, might will make it the postseason, postseason roster. He'll just most likely be uh, in the bullpen. Barnes was definitely hurting our hitting. He has been hitting like 170 since coming back from the IL. So he was very much hurting our offense, unfortunately. Ugh, why does it do that? Sadler has... Sadler, I like Casey Sadler a lot. I wouldn't mind seeing him in a high leverage situation. Um, obviously, that hasn't happened yet, but I do like uh, what I've seen from him. All right. So I'm going to answer the last question coming up is the, cause I already answered the Dodgers, Noah Syndergaard, Edwin Diaz. Um, I'm going to answer the last one. The, are you buying 2020 season tickets? And then I've got to go. Um, how about Urias as our closer? I wouldn't mind it. He's been dominant in those situations. You might as well give him a chance at this point. Uh, it's not going to hurt. I bet he goes out there and does better than Jansen, unfortunately. So who knows? I wouldn't mind seeing him out there as our closer at this point. Jock getting traded is a pretty hot take. Jock's talked about getting traded almost every year. So it's not that hot of a take. It's just whether or not it actually happens. It would, 
it would make sense for them to trade him. He can't hit lefties. You don't want to take the bat out of Verdugo, um, Verdugo's hands. So it, it to me, it makes sense. I don't want Jock playing first base in the postseason. He doesn't have the best defense. Not his fault, but he just doesn't have the best defense. Uh, uh -uh. Has Jansen ever been pulled as a closer? Not that I'm aware of. I don't think so. I think the only time was when he took that in Philadelphia, took the ball that comebacker off his foot, and then uh, Robert said it would be Kelly or Baez the next day to close out if they needed him. But no, I don't think he's actually ever been demoted from the closer role. Um, <clears throat> Are you buying 2020 season tickets? Yes, I am, because I have to see those renovations. I want to be there a lot. Um, insane what they're doing. I'm so excited. But more importantly, I'm buying those 2020 season tickets because I have to be at the All-Star Game and Home Run Derby. So that, to me, is why I'm getting 20, why I'm getting season tickets next year. But other than that, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I, have, I will do a vlog tomorrow. I will not do one on Sunday. I'm going to be with friends. I got to just kind of relax and do some stuff with them. Um, I will be watching the game, but I'm not going to be vlogging it. And, yes, long overdue for the Koufax sta statue. And I will be in Colorado Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I will get you guys vlogs out there as always. Other than that, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't. And I will catch you guys all tomorrow. And you guys enjoy the rest of your night too. Bye, guys.